This video is sponsored by AppMaker. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything about WordPress. And today we're going to see how we can add best quick view to a WooCommerce website. Quick view can really enhance the user experience when you have a lot of products on your website and the product isn't large enough to view in the thumbnail. By adding quick view, you are not only enhancing the user experience but also your chances of selling the product. So, there will be two parts in this video. First, we will use a free plugin and in the next part, we will use the paid plugin that will obviously have more features but choosing comes down to your personal preferences and I'm going to show you how you can use each of them. Let's get started. Head over to your dashboard. Click on plugins. And we're going to use the free one which is Yith WooCommerce Quick View. The website will be linked in the description. Make sure to check it out. And let's click on download. So this will download a zip file. Now head back. Click on add new. Click on upload plugin. And choose the downloaded file. Now click on install. Now while this installs, let's talk a bit about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Now we're back and click on activate plugin. Now as you can see, a new section called Yith has been created. Now let's click on Yith and go to quick view. Make sure this is enabled. And if you want to enable quick view on mobile, you can check mark this. But I don't think on mobile it would look that good. So I'll disable it. In this plugin, you'll have to click on a button to take a quick view. So to name the button, we'll click on just, we'll name it just view. And you can add the styles to it. I'm going to let it stay at default. We'll click on save options and let's head over to our website and see the changes. Now, as you can see, a new button called view has been added. Let's click on the button. And as you can see, quick view has been added where it is showing the name, description and the pricing. And you can add to cart in here as well. And there's the cross button. So that's all you can do in the free plugin. Now let's go to the paid plugin and see how it works. Now we're here on the website and it's called Quick View for WooCommerce. We'll have to buy this. So there's actually a lifetime payment option or an annual payment option. Choose as per your need. The website will be linked in the description. Make sure to check it out. So we'll click on purchase. And complete our order. After you've completed your order, they will give you a zip file. Now let's download the zip file. Click on 
plugins add new click on upload plugin and choose your downloaded file click on install now now let's activate this plugin once again Now we'll head over to XT plugins section that has been created and click on quick view. Now as you can see, you can customize it. Now let's click on trigger settings. Now as you can see, this has led us towards our customizer. Now, as you can see, we can edit our trigger settings. If we want to trigger the quick view, maybe we want it before the add cart button. Now, this will add a quick view button like this, or we can add it over our product image when we hover. If you want to disable on mobile as well, you can do that. You can select background color and the button color as well. We'll go with whatever matches our theme. And if you want to show just the icon, click on yes. As you can see, this is showing the eye as well. This is showing only the icon. Now let's click on publish and check out the other settings. Now click on model settings. The model is actually the quick view. Now I don't want you to change this, but if you want to close the model when the product is added to cart, click on yes. And these are the model style settings. I'll leave it as default. And you can even add model slider. Now, as you can see, you can add as many slides as you want. So basically what that means is it will showcase the next product. So this is next three products. We can change this animation as well. As you can see, there are some more icons and animation settings that you can change. I'll leave it at default and click on publish. Make sure to try it out and choose what best suits your website. Now let's head over to more settings. We can change the product info as well. Now these are the things that will be on the product info template that is our model itself. Now I want to keep all these. If you want to disable the add to cart button can just remove it by clicking on this I. Now as you can see, it's not displaying the category and the add to, add to cart section. 
but since I want to add the add to cart section, I will go with that. If your product has a rating system as well, you can change it here. And let's click on publish. There are the close buttons. There isn't much to change about the cross button. So we'll just may, maybe we want to bump up our cross size, which is this. And these are the arrow settings. That means this. Now I would keep it at default. Maybe just I want to change the size and make it bigger. And that's all you can do. Let's check it out on our website. Now, as you can see, there's this good animation that appears. And I think this is a great way to enhance user experience. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.